Hello, this is Ryan Morgan from the Digital Learning Studio. Um, today I'm going to walk you through how to screen record on Zoom um, so you can take a Google Slides presentation and a video and kind of merge the two to create a final project. Um, so to start off with, to walk you through recording on Zoom, um, I think most of you are probably familiar with the process of sharing your screen, but if not, um, I took this screenshot um, when you're in a Zoom meeting. You can see on your toolbar at the bottom, uh, you can see here in this screenshot, the little green box that says, that says share screen. So you wanna click on that. And when you do, a window will pop up that looks like this. And at the bottom left corner of the window, you'll see two check boxes. One says share computer sound and the other says optimize screen sharing for video clip. You wanna click both of those because you want the, the sound of your audio shared with or saved with your screen recording and you want the video optimized so that it's better quality. So once you've checked those boxes, you can click the share in the bottom right corner and then you'll, your screen will show up and you'll go up to more on the toolbar and those three dots and you'll click on those in a drop down menu will come down and you'll want to click on record on this computer. Um, because if you record on your computer, it's easier to access afterwards. I'm using a Windows computer, so when I'm done, the file pops up, or when I end my Zoom meeting, uh, a window pops up with my recorded Zoom file. Um, and Mac, I think, does the same thing. Nick will be making a video later uh, to explain that process. So once you've started your recording, you can go to your um, Google presentation and hit present. I've created this sample presentation. Um, and then you can click through your slides as you normally would and make whatever points you need to make. Once you're finished, you can just close out of that. And then I would recommend having your, your video open in another tab. So in this case, I've opened up a wise media gallery from one of my other classes. And then you can go to whatever video you're going to use and go full screen. And you can play the clip. And then, as the clip plays, you can talk over it and analyze whatever you, whatever you need to. And then, when you're done with the scene, you can pause it and close out. And then, I will show later how you'll take the Google Slides presentation that you recorded and the um, the video clip and kind of merge them together so that you end up with a cleaner product for your final presentation. All right, so once you've recorded your, your presentation and your video, um, you can close out and it should download the video. The window should pop up with your video file in it. Um, and then now I'm going to show how to edit that video to put the presentation and the, the movie clip together. Um, again, I'm using a Windows computer. Nick will show how to how to do it on a Mac. Um, so if you're using Windows, down here, uh, you'll want to use your Photos application. So you can open that. And then you'll want to go to New Video up here in the top. And then New Video Project. So once you click that, this screen should pop up. You can name your video whatever you'd like. Um, so Spanish project or whatever you want the name to be. And then here you see the project library. You'll add media from this PC. And then most of the time, the Zoom files save to your documents folder automatically. So go to documents and then Zoom. And then at the bottom should be the most recent files. And if you don't know what you named it, um, I edited a video before, which is called NBA Demo. Uh, so I'll add that one. And then once you have the video in this project library, you'll place it in the storyboard. And you'll see that it added down here. And then when you click on it. Hello, this is Ryan Morgan from the Digital Play for you. And so to edit that, you'll go to split right here. And click on it and this screen will pop up and i don't want this beginning portion the introduction so i'm going to drag this cursor 
until it gets to the start of the actual presentation. With yours, um, that gives you a little leeway if you want to, I don't know, if you want to prep yourself before actually starting, you'll be able to, to adjust it so that it starts right when you begin speaking for that first clip. So here you see I've finally started the revolution or that finally started the presentation. Um, so you can click to make sure your audio is presentation right and hit present. I've created this sample presentation. So right there when I end my audio um, and I'm going to start the, the presentation audio, I leave the cursor where it's at and then I hit done and it'll split the clip. So down here in the bottom, you see I have two clips. The first one is everything prior to the split, and the next one is everything after, obviously. So I don't want this first clip because it's a lot of unnecessary information. So I'm gonna right click on that and then click remove this video clip. So now I'm left with this clip of just the presentation, but I still need to, um, to trim the portion that leads up to the, the video. So I go back to split, play it um, again. And you can click through your slides or slide it to the point where I finish, which is right about here. So when you do the presentation, I didn't really do a good job of this, but I would leave some time once you finish. Don't just close out right away. Leave a little bit of space so that you can um, have more room to trim. So you'll play that and it looks like it's buffering, um, but you'll get to the point where you want to keep it, where you want to stop the presentation and hit done again. And then it'll split once again. And now you're left with two. Uh, so this first one though is the, the presentation. So you'll leave that alone. You'll go to the second one and hit split again. And then you'll go up until you start your movie clip. And again, it would be good to, when you're recording, to start a little bit before the point you actually want for your presentation, just to leave you some room to trim. And then you will hit play. Find the point that you, oh, so yeah, once the beginning, um, once you get to the point you want to start, you're going to hit done again. And so now this middle video is the portion the transition transition from your presentation to the video so you'll right click on that and remove and then you're left with your video clip one final part to trim you'll go to split once again and take it to the end of your video clip and then you will let's see it might buffer again so we'll go right here. Um, we'll just pretend that's where it finishes. Obviously, you'll be more precise with yours. Hit done again. And now this final portion is just the ending transition. So you can remove that clip. So now you're left with your video, with your Google Slides presentation and your video portion. And this whole time you're talking. I have run into some encounter or some issues with um the audio. If you find that it's not recording the audio, uh, you can come talk to us. It's not a problem with Zoom. It's a problem with the Photos application on Windows. And it's not a huge issue because, as you see up here in the top right, there's custom audio. So if it doesn't record your audio, then you can just record over your um, presentation and then put in a separate recording of the video and it will all, it will all work out. Um, so once you're done with that, you have the option here. If you just want to finish there, then you can. If not, you can add a title card and move it to the end to have like a final, um, a final slide, I guess. Uh, so you can right click on it and hit edit and then text or background. You can change either and then you can say like the end or thank you or whatever however you'd like to end your presentation. So once that's all finished, you can play it and it will go through. And yeah, I can tell already that the audio 
was lost. And so I'll probably have to record my own audio on the presentations. And then uh, for the video portion, I'll just have to Zoom record the video by itself and upload it once again and then trim it. So like I said, not a huge issue. Um, but if that is an inconvenience, you can always come to the digital learning studio. iMovie seems to be a little easier to work with. Uh, so you can come use that at the digital learning studio. Um, or you can borrow a laptop and, and take it to your dorm or your apartment or whatever and uh, do it there. Once you're finished, you'll go to finish video. You'll want to use high quality obviously, and then you'll export it. And just name it something that you can remember. Uh, and then you'll hit export, and it'll save as an MP4 file, which you will then be able to upload to the Dropbox or however um, you're turning the assignment in. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to stop by the Digital Learning Studio, um, and we'd love to help. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nick with the DLS and uh, right now I'm going to show you how to um, edit clips in iMovie on Mac uh, from your Zoom recordings of your projects. So um, after you record with Zoom, uh, we recommend that you select the record to computer option just because that makes the whole process a lot easier. So once you've recorded to your computer, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to where the files are saved. So uh, to do that, open up your finder, go to your documents file and then find the uh, Zoom folder. Uh, and that is where all of your recordings will be saved. Uh, I happen to know a lot just because I do a lot of recording for work, but I just happen to know that this clip right here is the one that we're looking for. For you, it'll probably just be the most recent one. Uh, they're organized by dates. So that might be able to help narrow it down a little bit if you have rec other recordings as well. So once you get in here, you'll see some MP4 files, and that's what you're going to be want to editing. So you just simply take it and uh, drag that right down onto the editor. So once you're here, what do you do? Okay, so now that you're here, you're gonna to want to uh, go down here and try to find the areas of the video that you wanna cut out. So for me, at the beginning here, I just kind of have my face looking at the screen, which is not really what you want. So let's just start cutting when we get into the actual video. Yeah, so here, so what you do is you um, move your little uh, scroll here uh, and you find, you mouse over the section that's highlighted in gray. You simply uh, will right click and hit uh, split clip. So that will cut out this bit. So now these are two separate things you can drag around, or in this case, I'm just going to delete this. Okay, perfect. So this place. When we get to the end, I'll find the other section. That jump ahead to that. Oh, you can hear me. There is the character staring in an orange. Yeah. So let's see. Looks like about here. So I'm simply going to control click or right click and click split clip, and that will split this section out again. And I can simply just hit delete. Now I have the section I want. Say I want to rearrange these clips, uh, I can do the same thing. So I will split them here and then I can move this bit to be before or after the other one. Uh, when you're done with this process, simply go to File and Share. From here you can hit File again. Uh, and then this will ask you to uh, name the little clip when you're done, uh, add a few things. Uh, I wouldn't mess with any of this technical stuff. Uh, and then you can just hit Next. Uh, and it will ask you uh, where you want the file saved. You can just save that to your desktop or to your documents file, uh, whichever strategy works best for your organization, and just hit save. Uh, I have already saved this one, so it'll ask you to replace it, but it won't ask you to do that. All right, well, I hope that helps, uh, and I hope you have good luck on this project. Thank you. Bye-bye.